to integrate this is to substitute something that's going to make it a bit easier. And we can use the properties of the exponential function and the natural logarithm to make this statement. So e to the ln2 is simply 2. So when you have e raised to a natural logarithm, you basically get a cancellation and everything simplifies down. And that lets you substitute 2 for this expression here. So I'm just going to do that substitution. So our integration has now become this expression. This x, of course, being a power, we just got a power raised to a power, and we just multiply, so that's basic power rules. And we've now got this integration. This now allows us to make a substitution. So like you may have done with other functions of e, you can simply make whatever the power of e is to be your u. So we're gonna let u equal x ln two. We need to replace this dx with something in du to be able to do the integral. And so we have to find the derivative. So we find the derivative du dx, that gives us ln two. And then we need to rearrange that to get dx equals. So we now rearrange that. And we've now got everything that we need to be able to do a substitution. So we can replace here with u, and we can replace dx with our expression of dx. So I'm gonna come across to this side and just do that substitution. So we've now done the substitution and we have an integration that instead of having x's now has u's and it's looking a bit simpler. The next thing we can do is obviously just move this outside because ln2 is just gonna give you a number. You can try it on your calculator and that's just a constant. So we can just remove that. And so we're in fact doing just the integral of e to the u. Now the integral of e to the x is e to the x and by exactly the same logic, the integral of e to the u is just gonna be e to the u. And then we just add our constant of integration. And we're getting closer to the solution, but there's a few things that we have to do first. You'll realize that u used to equal x ln two. So we have to substitute our previous value for u into here. So we've now got it in x. And we can also move this x back out like this. So we're basically undoing the step that we did in this line here. And so the x has come back out. And you probably will recall that e to the ln two is what we said was two right at the very beginning. So we can replace that with two to the x. And then as a final step, you might wanna just move that two to the x onto the top, but that's again, fairly optional. That would also be a fairly valid answer. So this is now the final answer in the best form that I like it in. So I hope this video was helpful to you and you can now integrate two to the power of x. Thank you very much for watching.